created the dichotomous key um, and lots of you struggled with that key. So I decided to go ahead and do a explanation for how to make this key. When I asked you to make a dichotomous key, um, I wanted you to actually make the key based on something that wasn't plants or animals. Um, I wanted to do that because I wanted you to be familiar with the items. And excuse the cat that's meowing next to me, it's hungry. Um, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use a dichotomous key to identify the numbers from 1 through 10. Um, picture them in your head. I wrote them down on the right. Um, so um, picture them and let's go see how we can distinguish them. There's lots of different ways how to start this. Um, but I'm going to start as my first division, um, single digits versus double digits, just that'll take the 10 right out right there. Um, and the easiest thing to get this started is use a chart. So we're going to start with a chart um, and take it from there. So here we have our first division. So um, either it's a single digit or it's a double digit. If it's a double digit, you already have identified your 10 uh, and that one's covered. Now, the next question is how can we distinguish the numbers one through nine? Again, there are multiple different ways to do this. Um, let's try odd and even numbers. That's one option. Um, there are other options, right? You could say it's divisible by two or not. You could say it's divisible by three. But odd and even sounds like um, a pretty good way to get started. So to help with this, the visualization of this, what I did is I pulled the numbers over in the direction um, that they're going to be div divided up in now. So the even numbers, we have two, four, six, eight. And the odd numbers, we have one, three, five, seven, and nine. So now we need to try to distinguish those from each other. Again, there are lots of ways to go about this, um, but I choose that um, to go with uh, divisible by three or not divisible by three. Um, that takes the six out um, and leaves me with two, four, and eight. Um, and the odd numbers we're going to cover later. So I decided to go with shape now. So um, the angular shape or rounded parts. So the angular shape that identifies the four. Um, and then the rounded parts um, leave you with the eight and the two. When I flip to the next slide, well, then get to the solution for everybody. So um, if you want to play with this yourself and figure out um, how to do the odd numbers yourself, um, you can uh, not go to the next slide and pause this um, presentation right here, because uh, the next slide will actually show you um, the um, whole thing for the whole entire slide. So this is how I chose to do the whole thing. Um, so the uh, last two on the um, even numbers are um, contains full circles or does not contain full circles. And then I went a very similar route with the um, odd numbers. So the odd numbers I started out with a, are they divisible by three or not? Um, and then depending on which side it goes, uh, containing full circles or not containing full circles, um, and the not divisible by threes, uh, I went for the angular versus rounded parts. And then the last one, I struggled a little bit because um, one and seven are both prime numbers. Um, I could have gone with prime numbers earlier um, so that uh, instead of going with the divisible by three, that was one of the things I considered. Um, but um, I, I figured it was going to be difficult to get the prime numbers then, you know, separated out. Um, but the last two, only divisible by one and only not only divisible by one, um, gave me the last ones. So now you're almost done. Some of you submitted something like this, and, and I, I was very lenient with my grading. Um, so, um, but you really need to take one more step because you were supposed to make um, 
sentences with charts go to one, go to two, go to three. Um, and the next slide will show you how you go about that. So here's the next step. The next step, you then have to set up the questions. Um, and I set up the questions in such a way that I didn't go down one side first and then the other, but I kind of went down by layers. So the question one, and, and basically each intersection gives you a question. Um, then I took this question and uh, the, this setup and turned it into sentences. So the, um, your submission really should have looked like um, that um, list on the left um, where you um, write out how many digits does it have, single digits go to two, double digits, your number is 10, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when you look at that list on the left, um, one of the things that you may notice um, is that the some of the questions are the same, right? Question number three and question number four are the same questions. Uh, but they take you different places because you got there a different way. Um, that's important for the key. Um, so that means that the key, you have to follow it all the way from the beginning. You can't jump in at the middle um, because you may have missed a distinction earlier. Um, and yeah, I hope that this makes a little more sense now um, and you kind of have an idea how to use one of those keys. And um, 